What is up, guys? Basic Battles here today at 2 a.m. And I saw Death Battles tweet um, about six hours earlier, I want to say, is when I saw it, that the preview for Omni Man is coming out tomorrow. Or today, I guess. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> Which means, in about two weeks' time, I want to say, it's time for a Death Battle. Which means we are back with Death Battle predictions. Omni Man versus Bardock. The first death battle of the Kickstarter season. It's going to be so good, man. <laughs> we have a lot of bangers lined up already confirmed. And yeah. Today I'm predicting Omni Man vs. Bardock. Now this has been a very contentious debate throughout the entire... Uh, I'll just say Reddit. Because I'm, you know, sometimes I pop in on the Reddit once in a while just to scroll through, see everybody's opinions on the news. And, you know, it's pretty entertaining. It's not bad. And today I saw that they were talking about a G1 blog post, which is a, a blog about death battle predictions. Basically what I'm doing now, but um, better and more in depth. <laughs> uh, but it had Omni-Man winning. F uh, 14 to 6, I believe, was the, uh, the tally for the, uh, the people doing it. And some people really didn't like that. <laughs> uh, initially, when this was first announced, I thought it was really close because, you know, this was one of the death battles that many people were really wanting before, obviously, death battle, Rooster Teeth was gone, and this was one of the ones that people were predicting might have been on it. A lot of people were just predicting an invincible death battle in general, and this was one of them, and it was Gwen Tennyson versus Adam Eve, and Invincible versus Gohan, so I think those were, yeah, those were the three that I was seeing that people wanted slash predicted for season 11. But it is for the Kickstarter season now. It is very smart by Death Battle, by the way, to do a one, an Omni Man battle, and two, a Dragon Ball battle. Because one, Homeland vs. Omni Man was easily probably the most popular Death Battle of the last two seasons, easily. I think it's at like 10 million something views right now. Maybe 12 million. I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. And Dragon Ball always gets the numbers, seeing how I'm pretty sure Goku vs. Superman was the second or third. Uh, maybe fourth. I want to say second. Top five, easily. Goku vs. Superman was... Uh, and their Dragon Ball's always going to get views. Frieza vs. Megatron got decent views, too. You know. Dragon Ball's always going to be popular. So doing an Invincible matchup and a Dragon Ball matchup to start the Kickstarter season is definitely going to get them views. And hopefully this kicks off. You know, them getting sponsorships and all that. Hopefully this is the start of it. Get it, kickstarts. Ah, I'm so funny. Anyways, back to G1 blog. I keep getting off track. I'm sorry. Um, Yeah, very contentious stuff. And when I first saw, when people were predicting this, it was very debatable. It was like, Bardock has strength. I mean, has speed. But it all depends on what Bardock gets. And apparently it's been confirmed that Bardock is going to get Super Saiyan and a lot of stuff that's not really canon to his, you know, his actual canon Dragon Ball appearances, you know, like, I think he has, like, a movie that's not canon, and he goes Super Saiyan in that, and that's apparently really buff, so I'm, you know, so it's, it's tough to predict, I think it's, like, no one has, like, a speed and experience event, which makes sense, because obviously he's a Viltrumite, he's been fighting for, uh, eons, he's, like, multiple in the thousands, you know, years of age, and he's been fighting for most of that, so... Yeah, you know, it's pretty easy to give him that edge. And speed, obviously, he crosses galaxies with relative ease. Galaxies, stuff like that, you know. I think that's been stated before. So, yeah, he might have that in the bag. But, obviously, Bardock, super, you know, he can stand up to guys, apparently, like, like King Vegeta and stuff like that. I don't know. I am going to pick Bardock just because I think... Um, you know, he's got a pretty sizable power advantage from just what I've heard, you know. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe no one could pull it off. You know, he's obviously got crazy experience. He might have a skill advantage too. you know, being alive for so long. And this was the death battle that I wanted, you know, out of the invincible matchups that everyone was saying. Because one, I haven't watched Ben 10. But to be fair, I haven't watched Dragon Ball either. But I obviously know a little bit more about Dragon Ball than I do about Ben 10. I have a little, because, you know, <laughs> yeah, I just, that's just a little bit of knowledge on Dragon Ball. Enough to say that, and obviously, 
Adam Eve is a cool character, but Omni Man is probably by far my favorite character from the show slash comic book run of Invincible. You know, just great stuff. You know, and I love J.K. Simmons the Goat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited for this. I'm very very excited. First Kickstarter battle, first death battle since December. I think is the last time we got one. December early January. I cannot remember when, but I'm pretty sure that's when it was. Whew, it's been so long, but it's September now, and in early October, we are going to get some death battle. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. Rooting for Omni-Man, betting Bardock, hoping for a great death battle. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me your opinions on this battle in the comments. Tell me your winner. Tell me your brutes. Have a good day. Or night. It's 2 a.m. in the morning.